All right, guys, ready to do some illustrator work here. We are going to make some ninjas. So I'm going to show you some basic shapes, a uh, little bit of stroke work, uh, some cool colors, and we'll create little uh, vector ninjas. They're pretty cool looking. And then uh, you're going to have a chance to customize your own, customize your own background and, and explore the illustrator workspace. Um, let's go ahead and, and start this document here. So we're going to go to create new. And when you go to create new, let's go to, you know, we use all these things on here. If you, if you have it on here, I was thinking this web uh, 1280 by 1024, and that's also under web right here. So let's go 1280 by 1024. And then I also drop down these advanced settings and I like to change my raster effects to that right there. Just, I don't know that it'll come up, but I just want to have that available to us if we need it. So we'll go ahead and click on that and select, uh, okay, let's see, wait, oh, let's give it a name too. We'll give it a name. So your last name, ninjas. We'll do that, okay? Click on, click on create there. That'll open up our document. Let me get me out of the way. Okay, so this is our whole working area. Uh, before we do anything, I want to make sure that we have things that this document is set up the right way. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something called scaling, meaning that if I put a stroke on something that's one point, it's like a small stroke, and then I go and I make the object really, really big, I want the stroke to grow in proportion to size to you know the same size I set it up with. So uh, it's called scaling. To do scaling, you have to go up to Illustrator, and then you have to go down to preferences and then over to general right here. And then we're looking specifically at this area right there that says scale strokes and effects and then check that on. Okay. That'll be helpful for us. And I think we might even do scale corners too. Let's take a look at that. We probably want to do both. Okay. So we'll click on uh, okay. And here's our blank canvas. Uh, I'm going to be kind of looking at my notes off to the side here too. And so let's see what we can do. All right. So we're going to make uh, kind of the ninja head, body, uh, got torso, arms, legs, and a little cutout for a little mask, ninja mask to stick out there. Okay. So let's start with an ellipse. So that's a circle, which is the L key on your keyboard. And then I'm just going to hold down shift and make something about that big. There's no rhyme or reason. It doesn't matter where it's at. It's just, you know, on the page somewhere because we're going to move it around anyway. Uh, and you can see that it's filled with white and stroked with black. And that's what, that's what we want right now. That's what we're working with. Uh, so this is actually going to be the top of the ninja's head. Okay. Hit M on your keyboard and that'll give us a rectangle tool. And you'll notice like when I'm moving around on here and I'm clicking and drawing, these little purple lines are going everywhere. Those are smart, smart, smart guides, right? So now I can click my mouse and I can click and drag and move this. And I want it to be intersected perfectly centered over the top of that. And that's how I can do that there is by using that, that purple line tells me that it's centered right there. You can also, uh, if you were to select those two shapes, you can go over here to your align tool and you can click on that and say horizontally aligned, and then it would just make sure they're totally aligned when you click on that button. So I'll show you what that looks like real fast. So if I was to go, let me go ahead and hit my selection key. Like, so if I move this off to the side like that, select these two objects and go to align, that makes them perfectly aligned. So that's that's what I'm going for right there, okay? Um, so then we're going to uh, take, let's take this circle and we'll put it on top. So bring it to the front. So I'm gonna right click on it. And then I'm going to go to arrange and also I'll say uh, bring to front and that'll put it over the top of the little body that's going on right there. Okay. So now let's do, uh, we'll do some legs. Okay. So legs are going to be rectangles. So I'm going to go M for rectangle. And I want that thing to come right along the side of the body right there. Now, remember noobs work from far away. Illustrator players, physical players always zoom in. So before I start drawing this, I'm going to hit Z for zoom and I'm gonna zoom in closer, okay? Uh, so my document is kind of really close to my face right now. So uh, I'm gonna go back to M and I'm gonna go right here and then I'm gonna click and drag and draw a rectangle on there just like that, okay? And then I'm just going to use my mouse pointer right there, click and drag and round out the edges about as far as they'll go, just like that. Okay. Now I, I want it to kind of snap into place on this, on this body right here. And it's a little bit off and that's going to bug me, but that's okay. I'm going to live with it for right now. Now, remember, do be smart, work smart, watch your workflow and do stuff the right way the first time. So once you draw this one time, just make sure that's it. You don't have to draw it anymore because right, we, we want a copy of this thing. So what we can do is we can just go to our move tool. That's a V key. And if I hold down the option key on my keyboard, 
and it might be the alt key on yours. You'll notice that I get that little icon right there. So let me zoom in. So I go, I click on option, I get that. I can just click and drag. And when I click and drag, I make a copy. And smart guides are turned on and the smart guides tell me if it's perfectly aligned with that purple line staying right there. So that's good, that's what I want. So I'll go like that and I'll put that one there. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, okay? So now I've got two legs, all right? So here's the big head, little torso, leg one, leg two. I wanna do the same shapes for his arms, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down Option or Alt, maybe on key, your keyboard. Uh, you can also go copy paste if you want to, but I'm just used to short keyboard shortcuts. Click and drag, put this out here, and I'm gonna rotate it 45 degrees. And I know I can do it 45 degrees specifically because I have that modifier key, uh, the Shift key. So I'm gonna hold down Shift, click and drag to 45 degrees. I'll probably punch it that way a little bit like that, okay? Now I want another arm, don't draw anything else. I'm just gonna hold down uh, Option, Click and drag, I might even hold down shift so that it stays perfectly straight there. And then I'm gonna take it and rotate it 45 degrees, just like that. And then just move it over, make sure it's centered and or it's aligned with the other one that I have on there. Okay, like that, all right. And if I'm not sure if they're aligned or not, look what I can do. I can select this one, hold down shift, click on that one. And then I can go to align over here and say align the tops of them, just like that. All right, so that worked just fine doing it that way, okay? Um, so this is his rather large head right there. And this is actually gonna be like it's covered, you know, and it covered total cover face uh, face covering. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna have this, this cool shape in the middle there so I can actually see a face through um, this head cover here. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to grab, um, let's go to the ellipse tool, so go L. And off the side right here, anywhere like that, make a, a circle that's a little bit smaller than this circle right here. Then I'm gonna take another circle. I'm just gonna kind of freehand it. And I want I want there to be some, there we go. So now I'm gonna take those two. I'm gonna align them so they're perfectly aligned with each other. So I selected them both, go over here like that. And now I've got that big circle on top. I've got this little one here. This shape is the one that I really want, all right? So I'm gonna take these two things, make sure they're selected, and I'm gonna go over to Pathfinder. And remember, Pathfinder, we really only did two of them. We did the Unite and Minus Front. I'm gonna minus the front here. So if I click on Minus Front. I, I'm left with this shape. I'm gonna take this shape, and I'm gonna put it right there, all right? Pretty sweet. That looks good, I like that. Um, so that puts that in there. So that's the opening to the mask that, that we're gonna use for this person here, okay? Um, so I just drug it right onto there. So right now I have basically like a big circle, four rounded rectangles, a rectangle in the middle of the body, and then this custom shape. And you can already tell that something's starting to happen here. Um, I'm gonna send these arms and legs uh, to the back. So I just went to each one of them, clicked on it, and went shift, click, shift, click, shift, click, uh, right click it, and then go to arrange and send back. And that'll put it behind that. That looks better. That's what I wanted to do right there, okay? Um, we need to do a couple of eyes for inside of here. So I'm gonna grab, uh, go back to my ellipse tool, that circle, and I'm just gonna hold my shift button down and my draw a little eye like that. And, um, Let's make that eye, I just want it to be black. I don't want it to have a stroke because right now it's white with a black stroke. Um, and you can change this. You can do different colored eyes on yours if you want to. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna say, let's make the fill, let's double click on it, make the fill black, oops, right there. And then go over there and I'll go to the stroke and say, no stroke, all right? Get rid of that color guide, I don't see that. All right, so that, that takes care of that shape. And now, like I did before, I want to be able to copy it over there. So I'm gonna go right there, hold down option on my keyboard, click and drag, hold down shift. And now I've got those two eyeballs right there looking pretty good, all right? Um, so that's, you know, my basic, my basic ninja is right there. Now what's cool about the arms that are on there is that these are in the arms and legs, you can move these and so you could pose this character a different way if you want to. So there's, you know, a low kick right there. You could do something where, you know, maybe throw out another arm up there. So you can, you can do some things like that. Um, we're gonna put multiple ninjas on this assignment. 
So it's important right now that you have copies of this. Okay. I would make copies of this just like this. So I would take this um, because it's just the basic body shape and you're going to be doing colors and all this stuff like that. But th that this way, if you make this copy, you don't have to do it multiple times. All right. So I, all I did is I use my selection tool, V selection tool, that first black arrow. And you just, if you just click and drag, anything it touches becomes selected. Okay. So now I can go uh, option, click and drag, and I put them off to the side, right? And I might just have a couple more ready to go. We're going to end up having to do four all together anyway. So there's four of them off to the side, and now they're ready to be worked on, and I can do the things that I need to do. All right. Um, we're going to take the um, this guy here and really let's focus in on this guy and do what needs to be done here. First thing is I want to take now, because all these arms are, you know, you can move them around and the arms and legs and all that, but I want them to be one piece. So I'm going to go ahead and make it. So this ninja is just like standing. It's just this flexing ninja. It's like, Ugh. Uh, so I'm going to hit V and I want to select torso, arms, and legs. So those five pieces, not the head, torso, arms, and legs. So I just click and drag. And again, be careful because if you touch just a little tiny bit of a circle, it selects the entire head. So you notice I did that right there. So right there, select it, take care of that. Now go over to the properties panel, Pathfinder, and click on Unite. So now we've got them all in one shape, just like that. That's what we wanted to do is to make it look like that. Okay. So we're going to fill the body elements with a really dark gray color, or you can use any color you want to, because I'm going to tell you that for all of them. So you can follow me for this one and make this one gray, but make the other ones a different color, mess around with them. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go, we'll go body, we'll select the body here first. Uh, and then we're going to fill it with a very dark color. So I'm going to go over here to, I'm going to fill there. You can go to fill here. Um, actually, let's try this one. I like this one over here. So let's go, we'll go to this fill over here on the properties panel. And what the reason I like it is that you've got all these different shades of gray there. So there's hundred percent black, and then there's going to be, you know, a little less, a little less, a little less. I'm going to probably go pretty dark with this one. All right. So I'm going to choose that color. And I want to do the same thing. And I should have selected the head at the same time. I want the head to be the same thing. So I'll go over there and we'll fill it with that dark color too. Okay. Um, we're going to add a four point stroke aligned to the outside for each one of these two. Okay. Right now. So let's, let's talk about what that's going to look like here. So I'm going to, let's just zoom in and we'll just work on the head part for right now. And whoops, no, 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 no. Uh, the zoom key. There we go. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go over here and make sure that's selected, which it is. Go right over here to the word stroke, and you notice that it's underlined. That means I can do something with it right there. So if I click on that, it's gonna bring up the stroke menu of all the different things you can do with the stroke. And so what I want is I want this to be a four point weight, so it'll be pretty thick. Now notice every time I clicked it, it went to the inside more and more and more because mine right now is set up for, for a line stroke. You can have the stroke either be on the, it's on the path. It's, so it's either going to be on the inside of the path or it can be to the outside of the path or it can be completely centered on the path. So as I click each one, take a look at what it does. So here's one aligned uh, stroke to center. It goes like that. And if I zoom in a whole bunch here, so let me do it this way. That blue line is the path. So that stroke is centered perfectly on it. So if I have a four point stroke, that means there's two, two, uh, points of stroke on each side of, of the path line there. Okay. Um, but, uh, then there's also this one here, which is aligned to the inside because which what it was on that before. And then there's this one here that says aligned to outside. All right. So that's what I did. I want that aligned to the outside. So I'm going to go to the body, click on the torso and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go click on the word stroke. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then I'm going to go align to the outside. All right. And you'll see why in just one second here. So we're going to go now. We've got this really cool stroke. It looks fantastic on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I had to click. I, what I did there, guys, is I clicked on this little ellipse, uh, ellipses, little button right there to get dot, dot, dot. Cause I want to get this. Um, you can add additional strokes to things. So check this out. So if I have this thing selected here, I can go up to my appearance. This is a little appearance guy that I bumped up. And again, I clicked on that button right there. Hopefully you can see it uh, to get to this. And I'm going to, I hit this little down button there and I say, okay, add a new stroke. OK, 
Okay. So now I have a second stroke and the new one, it, it puts it right on the top. So there's the old one. So if I click this little eyeball, should go. Oh, you can still see it because there's two of them on top of each other. Uh, you'll see in just a second here. We want to do um, a new stroke. And this time we're going to line the stroke to the inside and we're going to make it lighter uh, than the fill color and obviously lighter than the black that's on the outside. So here's what that looks like. So if I go to the word stroke right there, I want four point. This one though, I want to go to the inside like that. And then I want that stroke color. If I drop this list down right here, I want it to be a lighter color like that. Okay. Maybe a little darker. This might be too light. There we go. So again, we, now we have a little depth, right? So I added a second stroke to an object. Okay. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but you can do it. So I'll do the same thing. Um, let's see, I'll go, how about we do that to the body here as well? So I'll go to the body. So here I go again. I may start from the beginning. I'm going to go to, here's my appearance right here, right? Um, I'm going to go to that guy right there, open the appearance panel because I need to be able to see everything that's on there. I'm going to go that button and say, add new stroke. There it is. It's the one that's on top. I'm going to choose the color that I chose before, which I think is that one. Nope. It's that one. Yep. It's that one. Then I have to tell it not only that, but I want it to do. Um, so if I click on that button there, I want it to go to the inside. So there it is right there. So I click on that. So now you can see you've got those stroke on the outside, stroke on the inside, and they mesh together. It looks pretty good. Okay. Um, let's go and fill in this area here. Okay. So this is that shape where it was just, it's just a cutout. So this is supposed to be this ninja skin. So let's go over here to the fill for the appearance. And if you don't want to see this appearance tab anymore, you just click on it and it goes away. Let's go to fill and let's choose a skin tone. So I'll go like that. Okay. And then um, I want to do that same kind of stroke thing there. Um, so let's go with a three point stroke, but we're going to go black to the outside. And then we're going to go a darker shade of skin on the inside. So I'll show you what that means like, or what that looks like. So I have that shape selected. I have, here's my stroke menu. And right now, because I scaled it, that number change right there, that was that scaling thing I was telling you about. So I'm going to make this three point. I'm going to take it and align it to the outside. Okay. Now this is where I want to add a second stroke. Okay. So I'm going to go to this, get my appearance panel back that, then I'm going to say, add new stroke. Now, remember it sticks the same stroke on top of what you just did. So now I have to change it. So I want this new stroke now to be three point, but I also want it. So I, I clicked on the word stroke right there. Again, anything that's underlined, you can do that. Uh, I'm going to go to that. And I'm going to go and choose a line stroke to the inside. And then I want the color of that to be related to like the skin color, but a little darker for the skin color like that. So now we've got shadow coming through because, you know, the face is recessed a little bit and you have shadow coming through like that. So now if I was to close that appearance panel right there and then I'm going to go command zero and zoom out, you can see I've got a pretty cool looking ninja character. And so I just selected the whole thing, click and draw and drag. And now you can see the full size effect of this. And this is what we're going to be looking for too. When we're, when we're grading these and looking at it, like, can I see the two strokes that you put here, that you put here, uh, that you put around the body and all that? Like, I want to make sure that that stuff all works. Okay. So what I want to do now for the remainder of class is I want you to take these other guys here bring them onto the page. And the first thing you do is pose them. So change the way that they're, that they're going. So this, let's say this one here, she's going to be flying through the air doing this. And let's take this leg and we'll go ahead and move that bad boy like that. Okay. And then we can even move, we can move this arm. Uh, let's put it down at her, at her side a little bit more. So let's go like that and then put it just like that, okay? So that could be your you know, your one character. Now, what does the workflow look like? Again, so I'm gonna do this one more time. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna work fast and see if you can get it, okay? So uh, first things first, I wanna take this body and I'm gonna make it so that it's one piece. So take this, select them all, come over here to my Pathfinder, group them together, okay? So now I've got that. Now I'm gonna take this and I'll take the body that's right there and I'm gonna do that thing where I go stroke, four point. 
Okay. And I want to hit this menu here and I want that stroke to go to the outside. All right. Then I'm going to add a second stroke. Actually, I, I should probably fill it. Let me fill it with the color. Um, this time, you know what? I'm going to screw around this time. I'm going to go, let's make this the red ninja. Okay. And then let's go to the stroke. And then for the stroke for the red ninja, let's give the red ninja, I don't know, uh, orange outline. There we go. Very cool looking. Um, so I've got that character on there. That looks good. Uh, that's the stroke to the outside. Now I want to do the stroke to the inside. So I'll go stroke here and I'm going to go there. New stroke. And I will go to this color and I'm going to make the new stroke probably like that. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to move it by clicking on that and say, nope, not to the outside, but to the inside. So that pops that over there. That's kind of cool looking, right? So that looks good. And then I'll click on the inner part right here. And so we'll go to fill and let's get a skin tone there like that. And then we are going to do the stroke around there. So I want that stroke to be orange again. I like that orange that we had on there. So I'll go that color and I'll go to orange and I want it to go to the outside. Okay. You can see, hopefully you see a little bit of a, there you go, of a pattern ha happening here evolving. Okay. And then I'm going to add a second stroke. That goes on top. Oops, I did a second fill. Let me undo that. Add a second stroke, new stroke. There we go. And I'm going to change. It goes to the inside. So I'll go line stroke to the inside. And then for color, I don't want it to be orange. I want it to be a darker skin tone like that. Okay. So there is my my second ninja. This ninja is just, you know, she's just kind of jumping around in space there. Now their their sizes are a little bit off, right? So they're uh, maybe she's much further away than the person in front there, or maybe I just make her bigger. Okay. So I select it to that. Um, if you want to, you could take all these things, uh, the multiple pieces, uh, you don't want to pathfinder them. Like you don't want to combine them, but you could group them. So if you go to object group, once you select it now, anywhere, anytime I click on one thing, it'll take it everywhere. So if I select all of this, I can go to object group command G for those of you who want to be Viscom players. You can hold down shift to resize and now I can take it place it wherever I want to. Okay. So now we've got the other two ninjas. We need to put them on there. You need to pose them and we need to do all those things that we just did to make it look like, uh, to make it look like it's in action, um, and to customize it, make it look how you want to. So you can add some things if you want to. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add weapons and, uh, and then you're going to work on a background as well. So have fun with this color away, make it look cool. If you want to make them look different from each other, you can kind of play around with the size of the openings that are in there. Uh, you can do color, different colored eyes. If you want to definitely change the colors of their outfits, make it look cool, right? Make it look how you think it would look great. All right. So good luck.